Hey, are we live? Thank you very much for inviting me to chat with you. And thank you so much for, for, for having me on. Here we go. Okay. Usually I ask just what advice would you give other FEC operators, uh, but I'm really curious to know what kind of advice would you give um, other franchise owners, regardless of if it's fun zone or just anyone else going through this right now and feeling like, you know, they've had really low times and they're starting to come up, but they still may be a little hesitant of, you know, how it's going to work out. What, what advice would you give them? Hmm. I would say probably the number one thing that I tell the, the number one factor that defines the success or failure of an FEC, particular, particularly an arcade that's added to a restaurant, oh, okay, is it is not a set it and forget it business. You have to actively manage it. Uh, you have to look at your redemption reports. You have to um, look at the impact of things like the upsell products. You have to um, make sure that you have contemporary prizes that are moving and monitor your prizing inventory. Uh, your game selection is, is paramount at the start. So getting the right amount of feedback. So all of those things require active engagement. You can't put up an arcade, drop in an embed system, and just expect that you're going to make tens of thousands of dollars a month. You have to be, it's just not a set it and forget it business. That's probably the number one thing I would say. And it's, you know, it, it's one thing if the arcade is your core business, right? If the arcade is your core business, there's nothing that set it and forget it about that because you're in it, you're immersed in it every day. For us with restaurants being our primary uh, revenue source, the arcades are a secondary business and we can't treat them as secondary. We have to treat them, you know, and give it and put the rigor against that business, just like we do on the restaurant side.